Hi, this is the Phoenix from Phoenix Rise and Tarot. It's here to do another 48 hour update for the sign of Leo. Just keep in mind, these are general readings. They're not going to resonate with all of you. But for the ones that it does resonate with, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. For those of you interested in a personal reading with me, all the information will be in the description box below. This is going to be for the Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs of Leo. Alright, so let's jump into this reading and see what messages will come true for you guys for the 28th to the 29th of May. Alright, let's see. Spirit messages for the sign of Leo for the 28th to the 29th of May. Messages for the sign of Leo. Leo's, you're not saying anything this week. You're not saying anything for the next 48 hours. Spirit, what are the messages? Or oh, are you guys just being stubborn? Let's see what's happening here. Is Leo trying to be stubborn this, this for the next 48 hours? Spirit messages for the sign of Leo. Okay. All right, so you're in your head. You feel like your hands are tied in a situation. So being in your head <clears throat> means you're not taking any action. Concerning an Aquarius, maybe, or to heal a situation. For some of you, you could see someone as your dream come true. But you feel like they are lying to you. I think you have strong romantic feelings for this person and you're hiding it. Mm. So, you're in your head about an Aquarius that you have strong emotional ties and connections to. But you're trying to conceal that from them. Because you're in a situation where you feel like your hands are tied. Okay. You're not sure if this person loves you again. You're not sure if this person will reciprocate the way you feel for them. Could be a Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, you're dealing with Pisces, Cancer here, Aquarius. Ah, for some of you, this is a same-sex couple. But you're in your head and feel your hands are tied because of her Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or because you are trying to be yourself again. So you're trying to have a self-discovery. You are trying to get yourself back to the charismatic person that you know you are. And this could, uh, for some of you, not all of you, you're trying to find yourself again. For others of you, you're obsessing about an Aries Leo Sag. Because you're feeling like your hands are tied and this person is everything you could have possibly dreamed of. You want to rush into them. You want to rush into them and offer them anything that will get them to tell you how they feel. <laughs> okay. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's not funny. Well, it is funny, kind of. Okay. So because of these romantic feelings that you have for this person that runs very deep, that you're hiding from them, this is causing you to be anxious. You're in your head. You can't sleep at night. You're being conflicted. You don't know how they feel. And this has you in your head. Feeling trapped. Okay, it could be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius you're dealing with. But you may be very sensitive at this point in time. Or the person you may be dealing with may be a bit sensitive and not really opening up to you. Communication is definitely at a halt between you and this person. Um, because of emotions that could be running high, like I said. 
but you love this person you love this person you love their personality you love the fact that they are outgoing you just love this person that's the two of cups honey you do love this person you could say what you want you love this person and this person I think loves you the same did you do something to mess it up I don't know I would have to tell you okay so right now you may not be financially stable you may not be able to take care of yourself much less to enter a relationship to help take care of anyone else mm -hmm. so you're refusing to have a brand new beginning with someone you are probably telling this person that you don't want a relationship at this point in time when secretly we know you love this person deeply Okay, because you feel that it's not going to be an equal give and take situation between you and this person because you can't be as independent as you would like to be. But Spirit is saying most of this crap you're saying here, it's ego. When the sun is in the reverse for me, it is the happiest card in the deck. And even in the reverse, you something will be illuminated at some point in time. But for me, when it is in the reverse, you're up in your ego, Leo. You're definitely up in your ego. You're trying to be all Prince Charming, and you can't afford to be right now because all your pentacles are not in a row. How are you so sure that this person, whoever this person is, wouldn't accept you even though you're going through financial struggle? The world is going through financial struggles right now. But you pushing them away is not going to help. Yeah, you're not trying to start anything new with this person passionately. You're not trying to offer anything. You're not trying to explore anything with this person. You are telling them you don't want anything stable, but secretly you want a brand new beginning in love. So what do you do? Push away someone and then want them to come back to you and offer you all the love in the world? That doesn't even make any sense. For those of you that don't like a straight talking tarot reader, you could click off now because I will tell you, I would read the cards for you and I will tell you what makes sense and what doesn't. All right, so you feel like you don't have another choice. You need to come towards this person and offer some kind of something to start building something with them. Wow. Okay, so for some of you, you're actually um, getting some kind of sense. So this person, you are ready to offer them some type of collaboration, some type of working together. For some of you, this could be work-related, right? Um, but you're ready to start something, start to build something with this person, right? Yes. Because you're coming out of your ego. You're finally getting the courage to move towards this person. Could be another Leo some of you are dealing with. Or you are just coming out of your ego and moving towards this person, trying to build, start something slowly from the ground up and build with this person. But you're still going to lie about your true intentions. You're still going to lie about wanting to have a brand new beginning with this person because you are going to pretend it's all in the page of cup stage where you're now trying to explore your feelings and all this crap just to see how this person feels okay let's see how that works out for you let's see how it's going to work out for you this person might run in the other direction because <clears throat> this person feels the same way for you that you feel for them but if you continue shoving them away they are going to go away they are going to leave you and move quickly away from the situation. Oh, and another message I'm hearing. When you finally decide to step into your own power, get the courage to start building something with this person, it is going to move quickly. It is going to move quickly. This relationship is going to progress because you and this person is at the same wavelength where feelings and emotions and love is concerned. 
but you're looking for clarity. You're looking for this person to do something extravagant to show you that they love you. You're looking for a grand gesture. What are you looking for, a banner? A plane flying overhead with a banner that states I love you? You and this person were at a break for some time. Could be four months, could be four weeks. But this person gave you a rest because you were being ridiculous. I think you're being ridiculous. So there was a break between you and this person. And this person is finally ready to try to make it work with you again. Try to see if things will work out for both of you. Try to see if what he or she may have planted before will come into fruition now. Because they are done missing you. They want to be with you. They are tired of missing you. They are tired of trying to reach out to you. They just want to be with you. Yeah, because they have waited. For those of you that this is about four months or four weeks, uh, they waited, they waited on you. They waited on you to come back because they stood in this Empress energy and they knew that they wanted you. They have gone through a lot in past relationships. They have gone through a lot in their life on the whole. But they're waiting on you and they are standing in their gorgeous energy looking all beautiful fighting all the odds of things not working and still trying to work it out with you why are you being so difficult because you're not ready for reconciliation could be a libra involved but you see this person as oh my god you see this person as the Empress and you see this person as the Queen of Wands. <sighs> My God. Okay. So let me get this straight. You don't want reconciliation with this person just yet. Right? You're waiting. They waited on you to get your ducks in order. But you're not ready for reconciliation yet. You want them to wait some more. You're trying to be the type of person that they see you to be from the beginning. So you are trying to start this relationship back from ground zero. Because you don't want a reconciliation. You want to start this relationship over. Ha! <laughs> yes. Because you see this person as your ten of pentacles. You see this person as your stability. You see this person as being loyal. You see this person as someone you can build with. Yeah. Because you are ready to give your cup of love to this person. Yep. 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 You don't want any small kind gestures. You have decided to move forward with this person. And you are definitely holding on. <laughs> yeah, Leo. I gave you that nice game. All right, that is what I have for you guys. For those of you that resonates with, uh, I wish you luck in this situation because you know you love this person. This person loves you. You don't want reconciliation. You want a new beginning with this person, but you're trying to shove them away to get that new beginning. Okay, thumbs up to you. I hope it works out. For those of you that resonate with, leave a comment in the comments below. Have a good one.